Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Carrie and Emerald, I am so excited to talk to both of you today. Promising Young Woman is one of the best and most original movies I've seen all year by far. So thank you for that. Thank you. Carrie, um, I ran a really a gamut of emotions and reactions as I was watching this movie. What went through your head as you were reading this script? Oh, wow. I mean, just the same thing. I think that's why it was such an arresting thing to read, um, because I was just feeling different things every couple of pages. And, um, and every time I thought I knew what was going on, it flipped and I didn't. And um, I just loved that. I loved how unique it felt, how different it felt, how funny it was, and that I just couldn't I couldn't figure out what was going, I couldn't figure out what was happening. I, I wanted to, and I wanted to know all the answers and I, and I wasn't being given them. Um, and I think that's a great testament to great writing that nothing is laid out, but that you understand um, at the same time. So I was, yeah, completely thrilled to get, to get sent it. Oh, I love hearing that. I feel like there's a really delicate balance with your character and like sympathizing with her and not just kind of treating her like the villain, like we would see in 90s revenge movies that this is kind of inspired by. How did you and Emerald work together to really find that good balance? Well, I think it was it was really a lot of conversation between the two of us. I think we started off by figuring out who she was before all of this um, and what led her to this sort of these life choices um, that are pretty questionable. Um, so just, you know, figuring out what, why this all began um, was the first thing. And then it was a lot of, of conversation between the two of us and to not just in sort of the run up, but every day on set, we were constantly sort of going back and forth on, on um, and calibrating that. And I think Emerald's direction was just so, uh, everything, everything she said to me on set was invaluable and everything she said to push me and to um, you know get me to try new things and come out of my comfort zone was just just amazing. Emerald, um, I read that you were inspired by movies like To Die For and Fargo. What was it about those movies that 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 you wanted to incorporate into Promising Young Woman? Well, I think I mean, firstly, they're just so beautiful those films, and I think I'm very always really beguiled by things that look gorgeous but have this sort of sticky, unseemly underbelly. But also, I think they're probably you know, they came out when I was, you know, uh, quite young. They're probably the first examples I can think of where there were female characters who were, you know, really complex, unusual, um, you know, either sort of Nicole Kidman's character as sort of a sociopath, but also one that you sort of love. Mm. Um, and, you know, in Fargo, you've got a, just such a well-rounded, beautifully created character, you know, just... I suppose those things really spoke to me and I just, I'm so interested in in watching and making anything where, you know, people feel real and the women feel kind of ghastly and funny and brilliant and awful as they are <laughs> in life. You know, not, just, not just sexy or tired. <laughs> tired mum or sexy. I mean, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have like really perfect casting in this movie, whether it's Carrie or Adam Brody, Bo Burnham, Chris Herman's Plus, you're getting these people outside of what we normally think of them. Was that always the plan going in to make this story as effective as it is? Yeah, I think so. I mean, again, it's sort of like casting Carrie. Carrie is so brilliant and also so, I think, famous for being um, such a... Uh, well, she's certainly an actress with a huge amount of gravitas. And I think that's really important. You know, I didn't want somebody who was going to come and do a very like surface sort of badass kind of version of Cassie, because I just don't believe that that's what she is. And I don't believe that that person really exists. And equally with the men, you know, as in life, you want to choose people that you like, that we all feel a kind of, you know, that we are, have little crushes on them and we kind of trust them. And it's the same with the women, you know, Connie Britton and, oh it's it's you just it you've got to stretch people's allegiances as much as possible i think for things to be interesting because oh, nobody's love. interested with being you know if you're taken home by like terrifying sort of rumpelstiltskin figure you know there's no story it's when they're handsome and they think they're nice that's mm -hmm. when they're dangerous oh my god I, that is a 
perfect answer. Love that. I could talk to you guys for so long about this movie. Congratulations again. I cannot wait to just hear what people have to say about it. I, Emerald, congrats on The Crown. We have loved this season, so it's stunning. So congrats to both of you on this movie Thank as well. Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much.